know, every Texan of a certain age can remember the pain they felt when they learned that President Kennedy had been assassinated. Ken talked about that a short time ago, but you know, only one man remembers a certain kind of pain. We are talking about the spectator injured by a bullet fired from the sixth floor of the school book depository. That bullet, of course, meant for President Kennedy. NBC5's Jeff Smith caught up with him recently here in Dealey Plaza. When James Tague walks through Dealey Plaza, the memories come flooding back. Got over there just in time to uh, hear this man uh, sobbing to the policeman. His head exploded, his head exploded. The policeman said, whose head? And he says, the president's. Haig had no intention of watching the motorcade that day. He was running late to meet his girlfriend, the woman he'd later marry, and was stuck in traffic. I was concerned that, that I was late, and I was in this lane of traffic. Tag was standing here when the motorcade turned onto Elm Street in front of the Texas School Book Depository. That's when a sharp noise pierced through the cheering crowds. And then somebody threw a firecracker. I was wondering what kind of an idiot would be throwing a firecracker with the president driving by. It appears as though something has happened in the motorcade route. Of course, it wasn't a firecracker. It was an assassin's bullet. And I'm standing there in disbelief of somebody throwing a firecracker. Crack, crack, two rifle shots. About a second apart, and something stings me in the face. What stung him in the face was a fragment from a bullet intended to kill Kennedy. Bullet that missed the curb about right here. It had struck the nearby curb. Could have been a mixture of a little bit of lead and concrete. I was sprayed, sprayed. Debris hit me in the face. Broke the skin maybe in three or four places. A drop of blood in each place. Nothing serious. But it's arguably the most important minor injury in American history. Here's why. Two weeks after the assassination, the FBI concluded Oswald fired three bullets. Two hit President Kennedy, one hit Governor Connolly. The Warren Commission was prepared to reach the same conclusion. But when Dallas newspaper reports about that concrete scar hit Washington, commissioners realized that one of the three shots missed the motorcade. I didn't know I was changing history. I just knew it's probably important that there was a missed shot. The 27-year-old filed this affidavit about what happened. And all of a sudden, the Warren Commission had a big problem. So you made them change? They had to rewrite the report. That spawned the infamous magic bullet theory, the contested conclusion that one bullet caused significant injuries to both men. It changed history. If I, if that policeman had not ran up to me that day and I'd have gone home and forgot it, history would have been different. Tag understands his role in history, but even now, 50 years later, he struggles with what happened. It's hard to grasp. It's hard to grasp. Today, I, I try, I'm still trying to grasp it. President Kennedy was killed right here in front of me. Now, James Tagg has written two books on the assassination, one published just last month. And an interesting footnote to all of this, the FBI never amended its original report. Their official conclusion remains there was no missed shot, and they do not explain Tagg's injury. Of course, two days after the assassination, the accused gunman was himself gunned down in the basement of Dallas Police Headquarters.